welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a haul. It's quite a bit of beauty and fashion stuff from Cheshire Oak, Charlotte Tilbury, Hourglass, River Island, Doc Martens. So yeah, I'm going to show you what I've been buying recently. So the first thing is a new foundation and this is the Magic Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. I got this in the shade Too Fair. I ordered it online and she also sends you three samples with it so you can try out the other two shades in the Fair range and make sure you've got the right one. I did that, um, so I've been using this for a few days now, and I think I did get the right shade. I'm kind of between a one and a two, but um, two I found suited me a little bit better, so um, I did get the right one. It's £29.50, I think, um, so it is quite expensive, but it is so nice. It's easily the best foundation I've ever tried, which is quite saying a lot, but um, here's the packaging. It's very, very nice. It's sort of a matte glass bottle. Um, with the sort of magic foundation and the Charlotte Tilbury logo on and it has a rose gold lid and then it does have a foundation pump which is really really good um, it makes it really easy to use and yeah just really really nice packaging in terms of foundation it's kind of a medium to full coverage you can build it up however you like um, I tend to apply um, a medium coverage amount I would say but I did um, go out in the evening last week and I did put a little bit more on um, and it gave me a nice sort of full coverage for evening. It's really, really nice foundation. It doesn't look like you're wearing a lot of makeup. Even if you do layer it up, it covers more, more than any other foundation I've ever had. Um, it will cover quite a lot of blemishes, sort of redness, dark circles. Um, I do sometimes use a little bit of concealer with it, but if you want to, you could just layer this up and that will be fine. Um, in terms of the skincare, it's not broken me out at all yet. It does have SPF 15 in as well. Um, so it's, and it's kind of packed full of really really good ingredients and you can see on the Charlotte Tilbury website she sort of applies this on kind of all sorts of different skin tones and people with acne and other skin complaints and it does cover really really well um, but it doesn't feel heavy on the skin which is what I like about it it doesn't feel like you're wearing a load of makeup it doesn't feel thick, cakey and it doesn't look like that either it wears really nicely throughout the day it doesn't need much touching up at all in fact I think I've only touched it up once in all the days I've worn it and I've set mine with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade Fair and this is just a very very finely milled pressed powder and it just sets your makeup really really nicely. I find I only need to use a really really small amount and it lasts really well and just mattifies it down a bit. Foundation itself is kind of a natural finish. Um, it's not very dewy, it's not totally matte. I think it's a really really nice finish. Um, if you like something more dewy you could always add a bit of um, like a liquid highlighter on and if you want it more matte you can just powder it. So I definitely recommend trying the foundation if you've not done already. It's actually amazing. Um, uh, the name Magic Foundation really does like deserve it because it's so good. Um, it's not sponsored by the way, I did buy it with my own money, I'm not affiliated to Charlotte Tilbury at all, but um, I just really really like it, I think it's just one of the best foundations that's come out um, ever really. Um, the powder was about £30, it's very expensive, but um, I just thought it would go best with the foundation and it's the great colour match for it as well, so really really like this. Next makeup item is from Hourglass and this is their Christmas offering this year. It's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit. Hourglass have brought palettes out for the last two years I think. The first time they brought out the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit. Lighting palette, sorry, this is the lighting edit. And then they brought out the blush palette, both of which I've got. And this is this year's one. It's £65, so it's quite expensive. But you do get six shades, unlike the previous palettes, which only had three. These ones are slightly smaller, but they're still very, very good size. They are still plenty big enough. I mean, I've not even made a dent on any of my other palettes, like the first one I've had for almost two years now. So they do go a long way. So you have kind of like three highlighty shades, two blushes and a bronzer. I'm wearing these on my skin today along with that Charlotte Tilbury foundation and if you want to see sort of how I applied the products and this makeup look then my next video is going to be Get Ready With Me. Um, I've just filmed before this one of this makeup look so I do use all the products in there if you want to see them on. Um, they're really really nice if you've not used these powders before they're kind of like a quite a natural looking highlight bronzer and blush they're quite subtle on the skin but they're really really nice they wear really nicely without, throughout the day and they don't look glittery or really intense they're just quite, quite natural so I really like these and yeah I think this is a really nice palette I think this is a nicer palette than the other two they brought out simply because you've got everything in all in one place but there are different colours in 
these and the other two so if you do already have those there are different colours in this one and if you're thinking about buying all of them then there are different colours um, I have and use all of them um, but if they'd have all come out at the same time I probably would have only bought one and if I was only buying one I'd buy this one simply because it's got more colours in it. Next is something from Cheshire Oaks and from the Cowshed outlet and it's one of their Christmas crackers. They brought these out again this year um, but it's a different colour basically and it has in the Cow Herb Moisturising Hand Cream and Lippy Cow Natural Lip Balm. Now I've already talked about the Cowshed Hand Cream before and said how much I like them and I went in, I was going to pick up another little one um, just to leave in my bag and it was £5 but this cracker was £6 so I thought I would get this because you get a lip balm basically for a pound and I thought I could show you in case some of you are wanting to get Christmas presents really a nice present, I believe these are £10 in the normal shops but if you can get to an outlet then they're available for £6 um, so yeah if you'd like me to do any kind of like Christmas gift guides or anything like that let me know and I will do that for you um, I have got a few things that um, I could tell you about for Christmas gift guides but I just thought I'd give you a heads up on these, a really nice stocking filler or sort of secret Santa present or just like a little present but it's, it looks really nice and you wouldn't even have to wrap it if you didn't want to because it does come with like little bows on and stuff so they're really really nice for presents. That's the Cheshire Oak stuff actually, I do the first thing from Jack Will so you might have seen this on my blog. Um, there's also a blog post on the Hourglass palette by the way and my blog link is always in the description box. Um, and this is a Gilet from Jack Wills. It's a burgundy colour and it has a blue pheasant and then inside is this really really warm and cosy sort of teddy bear fur lining. It's so soft and warm. I absolutely love this. It was in the sale for £59 and then I got a shoot discount so it's about, I think it's 53 um, the only gripe I have with it is they left the security tag on but thankfully it was on the label so I just managed to cut the label out because um, Cheshire Oaks where I went for this is over 50 miles away from where I live and I didn't fancy driving another 50 miles back to the shop to get the security tag off when I could just cut the label out so do check if you're buying anything in Jack Will's outlet that they take the tag off because I didn't even know it was on there so I got home it didn't set any alarms off or anything and then I got home and I saw it and I thought oh no but thankfully I could just cut the tag out it's literally on the wash label tag so I was so pleased it was there and nowhere else uh, but yeah it does have a pocket in which fits my phone in which is kind of handy if you're not going out taking a bag um, it has kind of like knitted armholes and pockets on the front as well and then it has elastic around the bottom which makes it a lot lot warmer so yeah I really like this I got it in 14 and fits me really nice I just think this looks so nice over a jumper or long sleeve t-shirt I wore it on my blog with a long sleeve stripy top underneath it looked really really nice and yeah it's just so warm and cozy and the outer is also waterproof as well and it's colour I mean how often do I buy things with colour also coloured is some Doc Martens now I've pulled quite a few pairs of Doc Martens before and they're all black. Now I've also done a blog post with these, they're in the same post as that Jack Wills Julie. Um, but they are the Teresa boots and they are maroon colour. The actual name is cherry red but they're more of a burgundy um, I think. They are leather um, as all Doc Martens are really and they do have the sort of grippy sole that they all come with and they have a buckle fastening and then just a plain maroon tab at the top. These ones are a lot smarter than my other Doc Martens, they're kind of like a shiny, not patent but almost patent kind of finish, really really nice. Um, they are quite stiff though, I would, will say that, they do take a little bit of breaking in, I haven't had any blisters from them or anything, I've worn them a couple of times now, but I do find that round the top is very very stiff so it does want like a bit of breaking in, but it's they, they haven't hurt my feet or anything, they're just a bit stiffer than some of the other ones that I've got. But these were down to £80 from I think £120. And um, I also got a student discount off them so they worked out quite cheaply. Um, I think you can still get these online and I think you can get them in black as well. But I thought I would challenge myself to wear a bit more colour and try to incorporate a bit more colour into my wardrobe. So. I thought I would get them in that. I got these in a size 7, um, which is my usual Doc Martens size. Um, I tend to find in fur-lined Doc Martens I get an 8, and in non-fur-lined ones I get a 7. Um, but if you're unsure, I definitely recommend trying them on, because the sizing, um, if you don't get the sizing right, they can hurt your feet and make blisters and stuff, which obviously you don't want. On 
on to River Island. Now I had a coupon for 25% off with Grazia magazine and I of course had to go and see if there's anything I wanted and of course I found something and the first thing is a grey dress. Now this blog post with these, this and the next thing I want to show you will be up by now um, so go and click my blog link below if you want to see these pieces on and it's a sort of grey marl knitted dress, it's kind of oversized fit um, it comes down to like mid thigh and then long sleeves again it's really really soft this and it's like it's kind of like a knitted but kind of like a sweatshirt kind of material it's really really nice, I got this in a 14 and it was £38 and then obviously I got 25% off but it has a polo neck as well which I really really like and it's just really really warm and cosy but you could smarten it up as well um, as I did in the blog post with the next thing I'm about to show you so I also bought a pair of boots from River Island um, I know I'm terrible for buying shoes shoes and coats is like my thing that I buy I'll get one out to show you I've worn these already um, but they are these boots and they're quite high I don't have any sort of very high boots apart from these they are some Topshop boots that um, have quite a big heel on but these are higher but I just like the style of them they are a real leather uh, so these are actually a suede so they're real suede um, the heel is kind of a plain suede and the rest of the shoe is kind of like a textured like faux snakeskin suede they do have a grippy sole underneath which makes it more practical for the winter and they have two buckles and a cutout I've worn these um, twice now and they seem really really comfortable um, obviously they are heels so I wouldn't wear them like wandering around for hours on end but I did have these on for a good few hours and they were really really comfortable didn't hurt my feet at all at £58 and then obviously I got 25% off so they were a bit cheaper than that and I just thought they were really nice and different to other things that I've got and they just work really well to smarten up an outfit so that's everything um, that I've picked up recently. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.